to go to North Shire for a really long time now. So North Shire have like some different kind of themed accommodation. One of them looks like the Hobbit's Hall from Lord of the Rings. One looks like uh, Hagrid's Hut from Harry Potter. Another one looks like the dorm rooms out of Harry Potter. And they've got like other things like Shepherd's Hut and camping and like some other accommodation as well. We've been trying to get booked up with them for a really long time, but they're always booked up massively in advance. And they usually have like a two or three night minimum stay. Um, but recently there was a cancellation on Facebook for a one night stay in the Easter holidays. And because it was a last minute cancellation, it was 15% off. So it should have been 275 pounds, but instead it was like 225, I think it was. So I quickly snapped it up um, and so we're booked in tonight. So our check-in is at half past three and then we have to check out tomorrow at 11 a.m. So it's not much time, but I think we're gonna have a great time. So we're just, it's like half 11 now and we're just heading to somewhere in the local area. I think we're thinking Staithes or Saltburn or Whitby or Runswick Bay. We, we still haven't figured it out, but we're on our way there. We're gonna like stop, have a look around wherever we choose, have some lunch and stuff, and then head over to the site a little bit later this afternoon. Um, and we'll show you a bit of what it's like and what we get up to in the area. So if you've searched for this video because you're gonna be staying there, you can see a little bit of what it's like and what's nearby if you want to, to branch out. So I've got me and my husband and my little girl, Lena, who is seven, and my little boy, Arlo, who is 10. Arlo's got his Hufflepuff top. Hufflepuff top on. What? Don't forget to tell them about your teeth. You need, you, they need to see your teeth. Lena is missing her front teeth, and it's very important to tell you that. Lena has also got her Harry Potter boarding cardigan on, which has Hedwig arms, which is very cute. So we're all. I've got a t-shirt on that has the golden stitch and says "Perfect Catch." You've got you've got a Sonic top on, which is really not <laughs> playing the game at all. Um, so bye for now and we'll show you when we get there. I meant a golden snitch, not a golden stitch. Just, I'm tired. So we've just come to Staves. It's a nice valley down there with a river. It's like little sheds and stuff down on there. Just had lunch and a nice time looking around Staithes and now we are on the approach to North Shire. So it is 0.3 miles from here and it seems like there isn't In much a around. Mile, turn right and then you will arrive at your destination. What she said. So we're here a little bit early but we thought we'll bring the kids and let them play in the play park which is just here. So this is our first view of the site. So there's some shepherd's huts over there. Yeah, you can. You just got to push forward and backwards. Yeah, she's been on me. A little stone circle around here. 
Shall I go touch a stone and see if I can do a Claire Randall and go back to the 1700s? That'd be quite cool. How cool is this? They need to get some outlander events on here. Oh, oh, it's very boggy. It's very boggy. Retreat, retreat. Jamie Fraser. Jamie Fra No, it didn't work. That's disappointing. We're lucky at some point it might put its tail out so you can see it properly. They're beautiful though, aren't they? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so you can camp here too, and if you do, this is uh, like the toilets and the washing area and the bins and stuff. Hagrid's hut is just round here. I can see the car. And then got reception. My dog is awesome. Lena? Come here. What? Huh? Just look impressive, like, doesn't it? Especially with the car. Can you actually drive it? Can you get in it? Look at it, Lena. Look. Can you touch it? Yeah. But look at Hagrid's hut. I uh, know, me neither. This is the Hobbit house. Hold on. So what was the other one? I don't know what the other one was then. Oh, wow. Look at this. That looks pretty awesome. We're just having a quick look. Wow, look at that. That is pretty magical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can see, can't you? Yeah. I don't think we're going to go there because Daddy, uh, Daddy <sighs> banged his head off the season. Yeah. Do you think Frodo Baggins is in there? Going in. We'll have to take our shoes off at the door. Come on, kids. Take your shoes off at the door. Oh, it's cosy. Majestic. I'll tell you what, let's shut that door so we don't let all the cold out. Watch out the way of the door, Lena. <laughs> Little there. Uh, the light up there looks really cool. We'll go we'll go back and get those in a minute. Have you got shoes off? It's a microwave. <laughs> Look at this letter. Yeah, I know, I've seen it. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I'm absolutely disgusted. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work and it's all your fault. Now what's the... Uh, Look. What's that good call you? Take your gloves off, Lena. Can oh. you... Oh, is it? Oh, you know what's oh, for people to write. Oh, look. Look what you write with. A quill. Be careful, Lena, because that's real ink. Put it down for now and you can write something in the book after. 
slash actual teeth. Oh, that's scary. Oh, here's the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I need a wig. <laughs> I'll, I'll not film that then. But put it down, hold on, put it down after because I want to get photos. So this is the bed. The floor holds are quite pretty here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bunk no, beds. No, no. No, no. No, no. Very big headache on the Aura VX and two Aura VXs. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, isn't it? Marauder's Map Cup. Look at the little cups. Well, Daddy, I'll get it out for you in a bit, okay? So we've got a flying key up here, some more books, a little, there's lots of like nice little touches, basilic blood, basilic blood, I can't even tell, little candles. Keys. <laughs> <That's what probably. laughs> I really, I think one of the best touches is the ceiling, because that's just what Hagrid's is like. He has loads of things hanging from the ceiling. Why is that? Your Hagrid, your Hagrid there. Sitting on the couch, you there, your Hagrid. We can't, we can't. Why is there a cage trap? Is that for the owl? I don't know. Oh, guys, for all of Hagrid's. Uh, they don't know what we're trying to do. Guys, what do you think this is? <laughs> nice and gentle. I was just going to sit there. Oh, no. Why? Why haven't you? What? This one? No, just ignore that. Hey, look, what is it? The bunk beds are really cool. Is this actually on? It was, but it's that, not that long now. The bathroom does look really good, and they've got these Ministry of Magic type tiles. Have a bath in this bath. Yeah, this one. Very warm. I was expecting it to be quite cold. Mm -hmm. We've just put the lights on in the bathroom so you can see as well. I like these little pumpkins outside. I would say little pumpkins are absolutely massive. They're really good. I wonder how they did those. Look at those. That's a cool looking garden. So that's the bathroom bit there. And then this is the main bit. And then that's the Hobbit's one, like right under there. Let's go back in. So it is just a warning to those of you who like tea. The water is that that goes kind of filmy on the top. I've been trying to scoop some out, so it was worse than that, but it's not really coming out. Kind of needs a sieve. That's frustrating. 
we're having cups of teas and hot chocolates and brownies, aren't we? And we're going to watch Goblet of Fire. <laughs> is it nice? Yeah. yeah. So there is a pause button, Dad. So I found it. Cedric, am I right? Kids are playing a game where they're trying to get around without making the floor creak. Let's see who can get the furthest. <clears throat> You're doing pretty well. See, Arlo? Yes! Triple. Oh, no, you just creaked. No, I didn't. That, <laughs> the, tiny, the tiny, tiny creaks don't count. Oh, is that right? The big creaks count. Oh, okay. Is that are those the rules, Arlo? Uh, I follow bits on this bit. bit watch out, bits on this bit, creaky. But I, that, that's because I just peel it. But I'm not gonna like do like that. Okay. Please stop eating me. I'm trying to bite you. Okay. You did this part of my. You remember? I heard something there. Um, remember how they got the book to stop trying to eat them? They stroked it. Because it was a pet. I just think I just heard noise from her. <laughs> I heard... Mm. That's how she did. Oh, good. See? You hear that noise? <laughs> That's probably just the book Right, do your neat writing. So do I do DIY diamond? Well, you write it to the owners of the okay. or, or Hagrid. Or Hagrid. Write a message. Hagrid. Yeah. feel like the kitchen area is a cross between Hagrid's hut and the burrow like with so all of your stuff is under these curtains like glasses and um and plates and things are under these but it gives me very burrow vibes this is a little bit of a shame because this inkwell is dry so you can't actually write with the quill I'm trying to make it work by yeah. you can't it won't just be gentle please yeah it's actually just dry and broken by the looks of it um so you can't write with that but there is another just regular pen well oh my goodness Yes. Be very, very gentle with that. Okay, we don't want to break it. No, don't. Yeah, so they also have this pen, which you can write with, which is also fun, but not as fun as the inkwell. We've we've just popped out to see the sight on a night time at dusk. And we, there's this big old chicken on the wall. We didn't even know it was there. That is, that is a massive chicken and all. Look at the size of it. But I wanted to show you how pretty the sight was at night time. Yeah, we were just walking along, we were like, what the heck? <laughs> Big old chicken. But yeah, doesn't the sight look pretty on a night time? And down here. Yeah, it's a shame the string lights aren't on. But this does look like it would be really nice for um, a wedding or an event. And you can see. Yeah, look through the wind. Look, you can look through the window, and then there's the little hobbit hut. Look, just under the under the grassy mound, glowing in the dusk light. Oh, it seems like someone's living there. The lights on. Oh yeah, I think somebody's living at all of them. There's lights on at that one as well. See, the string lights are up on the, on the top. It's almost like they've forgotten to put them on down here. It's the next day and I'm about to have a bath in here. 
it's it i'll give you a tip it does run very slowly so if you are planning a bath run it a while before you want to get in you've got chocolate all over your face right you need to go clean that off <laughs> not there hold on i'll help you we've just come out the back and hagrid's got a little garden Yeah, there was just a chicken in the garden, but it's just gone under the fence. Should we see if we can see it? I don't think we're all going to be seeing some chickens. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's going it's it's to come under. It's going to come under when, when we feed them. Yeah. yeah. The lady's just said she's going to get us some feed to feed the chickens. Yeah, so you can sit out here if it's a sunny day and have you some food. Yeah. This noise here. Yeah, when they go over whatever that is, was waking me up all night. <laughs> I don't know what's making the noise, but it is a loud noise, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We've just getting a sneak peek in the dorm room. The cleaner has let us in, even though she's just in the middle of cleaning. But look at this. This would be perfect for hen do's and group gatherings. I'm gonna have a sneak peek of this bathroom. So wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at that. Wonder if Mona Myrtle's been in here. What do you think? It's just brilliant. I want, I want to see kind of. <laughs> we'll have to do this next time. Yeah, yeah. It feels very idyllic and hobbity that there is a little chicken on top of the Hobbit house. If you can see, just there, pecking away. What a lovely little sight. It's pretty cool to be able to stand in your garden and see two different types of birds pecking around. Airplane. We've come to Saltburn after checkout. Little river. Got the sea just here. She's gonna have a little bit explore and grab some lunch. We've come into the ship. Is it called the ship in? It looks like it's just called the ship now, but we should speak of the ship in. The ship. Uh, and we've ordered some food and we've got a nice view of the sea here. It's quite chilly outside today though. And we've got some nice tankards of Star of Brahman. Like a good tankard, don't we? I think we could safely say that the portions here are generous. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to eat all this. These are the kids' menu um, portions. You were worried it was going to be too small, weren't you? Yeah, what well, would they mean too small? It's definitely not. Um, and you can really you have salt? some of my chips. Can you salt anyone? I'm going no. to have salt. Salt all? Yeah, salt. Uh, Mike's got the steak and ale pie. I've got cottage pie. We've got sausage and chips and chicken Spring. nugget and chips. <laughs> Hi, it's Mark here from the future. Uh, editing this video right now and I realised that Naomi didn't record an outro, so this is kind of like a makeshift one. Uh, the food of the ship in that you've just seen me eat, or the ship as it's called now, was fantastic actually. Really, really nice. I'd thoroughly recommend if you go to Saltburn to go there. Um, the stay at North Shire was fantastic. Uh, we we'll definitely do it again if we can get booked in. Um, we definitely want to try the other ones as well, like, like you've seen the video, because they all just looked amazing. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Would love a thumbs up and if you subscribe as well, it'd be great.
We'll see you next time. Bye!